Hello friends welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to make simple particle logo formations without the use of any third party plugin. So let's have a look. Let's start. Create a new composition. Name it as you want. As usual, I am using 1280 by 720 pixels resolution at 25 frames per second. Time duration is 10 seconds. Create a new solid. Name it as background, as we are going to use it as a background image. In effects and presets search for the ramp. Add it to the solid layer. Change ramp shape to radial ramp. Change start color. Change end color. Set ramp scatter to 150. End of the ramp to 1000. This is going to be our project background. Import logo to your project. Now add the logo to timeline, to scale image press S on your keyboard set scale value to 10. Pre-compose it. Name it as the logo. Now again pre-compose, logo composition. Name it as display. Now open display composition. Go to composition, composition setting. Change preset to HDV 720. Scale the logo. Go back to the main composition. Select display composition and pre-compose it. Name it as a formation. Enlarge the logo. Go to display composition. In effects and presets search for CC ball action. Add it to display composition. Create the keyframe for scatter and change value to minus 500. Change rotation axis to Z axis. Twist property to diamond. Go two seconds forward and change scatter value to zero. Press U to display keyframes. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistance to easy ease. Adjust the speed graph. Create the keyframe for twist angle. Set value to 270. Go two seconds forward and change a value to zero. Select twist keyframes and change keyframe assistance to easy ease. Adjust the graph. Create a keyframe for grid spacing. Set value to 4. Go 5 frames forward and change the value to 1. Press Alt and click on stopwatch of instability state. Enter expression. Wiggle 0 0.5, 200. Go back to the main composition. Make sure you have selected formation composition. In effects and presets search for turbulent displace. Double click to add it to the composition. Create a keyframe for the amount. Set value to 50. Go 2 seconds forward, change value to 0. Select the keyframe and change keyframe assistance to easy ease. Adjust the graph as shown.
search for CC force motion blur. Add it to the composition. Change shutter angle to 300. Search for glow. Add it to the composition. Search for camera lens blur. Add it to the composition. Create a keyframe for blur radius. Change value to 50. Go one second forward. Set values to zero. Press U to display keyframes. Select keyframes. Change keyframe assistance to easy ease. Adjust the graph as shown. In project files. Select logo composition. Add it to the timeline. Scale it. Press Alt plus open bracket to trim composition. Press Alt plus close bracket to trim composition. Press Alt plus close bracket to trim composition. Make composition 3D. Add logo composition. Scale it. Search CC light sweep. Add it to the composition. Change shape to smooth. Create center keyframe. Position T away from the logo. Go one second forward position it on another side. Change width to 100. Select formation composition. Press T for opacity. At 2 seconds create a keyframe. Go 1 second forward and change the value to 0. Select keyframe. Change keyframe assistance to easy ease. Adjust speed graph. Add logo composition to the timeline. Rename it to outline. Scale it. In effects and presets search for Vegas. Add it to the timeline. Change segment distribution to bunched. Change segments to 1. Change the blend mode to transparent. You can also change the color. Change width to 6. Create a keyframe for rotation. Go 1 second forward. Change value to minus 1. Create a keyframe for start opacity. Set value to 0. Go 5 frames forward change value to 1. Go 10 seconds forward create a keyframe. Go 5 frames forward and change the value to 0. Select all keyframes. Change keyframe assistance to easy ease. Search for glow. Add it to the composition. Add again glow to the composition. Select Outline Composition. Change Mode to Add. Change Parent to Logo 3. Select Second Logo. Change Mode to Overlay. Let's import Flare to Project. Before adding Flare. Let's add Text. Enter your text. Align it to center. Position it below the logo. Pre-compose text layer. Name it as text. 
If you want to animate you can add a mask and position it. But here we are going to make it simple. Trim composition. Let's add flare to timeline. Change mode to add. Adjust the layer as per your logo. Trim composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Position it at some distance. Trim all composition. Select formation composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. Select time, time reverse layer. Position it at end. Go to outline. Select keyframe. Press Ctrl plus C to copy. Go some distance forward. Paste it. Select text composition. Press P to bring up position. Go to the end of the text layer. Create a keyframe for opacity. Set value to 0. Come 10 frames back. Set value to 100%. And here our logo is ready. Thank you for watching. If you have any query or question you are free to comment below. If you like this tutorial then don't forget to hit that like button. And if you are new here then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.